Hi, everyone. Good morning. I'm your host, Seth Julian. We're going to talk about week five, week ahead. We're sitting here on Friday, the uh, 27th of uh, January, 2023. And next week, uh, the earnings report season is, is, is has peaked, I would say, it peaked this week. But that doesn't mean there aren't some heavyweight bouts uh, waiting uh, on, the, on the card. Next week, Meta, Meta Platforms. AKA Facebook reports out, that's probably going to be a, a, a really ugly bloodbath. Amazon also, uh, a late, uh, I think that's this is on Wednesday, these two guys report. These are still obviously major heavyweights in the, in the S&P 500. So that they're going to be watched like, <clears throat> watched by a million hawks uh, for a possible uh, quick pop one way or the other. And um, just to remind you, you know, if the, if the expectation of the report is in the same direction as the, the the movement of the stock price in the last quarter, and the come and the projection and and the actual report comes out more or less according to the projection, oftentimes the stock will pop in that direction, up or down. Not always, but it's it's fairly reliable. But there are some very notable weird ex, ex, in this risk risk in all all uh, capital market activity. So we've got Amazon Meta reporting out. Um. Um. Merck and Company, the big drug firm, Sanofi also, these are big uh, drug firms. And, and, these, and these firms have been doing unbelievably since the pandemic. So those are important to watch. Um, we've got the, uh, next week we've got a fairly active and important economic calendar um, to look at. Here's the economic calendar. We'll start on Monday. By the way, what's not in the economic calendar, and I'll share this with you in any event, is the fact that <clears throat> Chinese New Year is over. The Lunar New Year holiday is over. And so millions and mil tens of millions of people who traveled from the populated uh, eastern uh, megacities back to the western hinterlands to visit family probably have multiplied the, the spread of the, of the virus God knows how many fold. So we're expecting a lot of bad news out of China, and that has effects on um, production, supply lines, pots, all sorts of stuff, because they are the workshop of the world. And uh, so that's, that's going to be a hidden sort of um, uh, um, rogue wave, if you will, that's going to, may or may not, but we expect it to have some serious ripples in the market as those numbers start to... Uh, leak out uh consumer we've got a lot of sentiment this week the german sentiment oh no excuse me german gdp um uh, this is on uh tuesday um canadian gdp consumer confidence in the u.s at, um on monday on tuesday wednesday we've got the um pmi in china pmi in germany pmi in great britain Wednesday, of course, crude oil reports. The ADP non-farm employment, which we don't really have. It's interesting, but useless with respect to the real the real action, which is Friday, on the non-farm payroll report. That, of course, is the granddaddy of them all. And um, the uh, the most watched report uh, of the trading month. So we're going to, that, that's a major event this week. And so there's some big, um, there are some big, uh, things coming up this week as well. But the major thing to watch out for, we believe, is going to be a serious rupture in Chinese uh, socioeconomic stability when the plague starts to fully blossom as a result of the um, Lunar New Year, you know, travel and visitation uh, that took place. So that's going to do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're looking for. Week 5, 2023, January. I'm your host, Seth Julian, wishing you all, ladies and gentlemen, the ability to trade with confidence. Bye-bye for now.